Today, we are tying something I'm calling the McFry Glass Candy. It's much like my last McFry, however I used a few different materials and decided to epoxy a bit further up the hook shank, almost like a surf candy. All of the materials, except the hook and the epoxy, can be purchased at my store for under $10 total. I will put the link in the description. We will be using an ultra-fine, clear, monofilament thread throughout this tie. Start your wrap near the eye of the hook and wrap about halfway down the hook shank. Snip your tag end off and add some head cement to keep the slick mono thread from slipping. Now we will tie in a material called Super Pearl Braid. Wrap your thread to just about the bend of the hook, then wrap back about a quarter down from the eye. What I love about this stuff is it will sit quite flat on the hook shank once wrapped tightly. Now we can wrap our Super Pearl Braid up the hook shank evenly and stop right about a quarter of the way up. Then capture it with three tight wraps and snip off the excess. Now we are going to add a small piece of another new material called Super Tinsel Twist in a red color right about where we left off with the pearl braid. Wrap this material to just shy of the hook shank and capture it. Then snip off the excess. Now we are going to wrap in our fiber. For this fly I am using something called Super Flash Dubbing. It's quite transparent when epoxied and also has lots of flash. You will want to wrap this in around the hook shank so it covers all sides evenly. If the loose ends have loops in them, trim off the loops with your scissors. Then pull back those ends, again surrounding the hook shank the best you can, and tie those in as well. The color I am using is pearl. Now we will take another color of super flash dubbing for the back color. We will tie this in at the top of the belly color then fold it over on itself and tie that side in as well. The color I'm using today is Holographic Silver. Now whip finish your fly. Now add an eye style of your choice. Just make sure it's small enough to show the red gill out the back Turn over the fly and add another eye to the other side. Whenever adding eyes, make sure they are perfectly even and aligned, as this helps with the fly's tracking while stripping in the streamer. I like epoxying eyes in in steps. I add a drop of epoxy on the top of the eye and then cure it. Then I can turn the fly over and add another drop on the bottom of the eye and cure that. The epoxy I am using today is made by Solares and is their thin dry formula. I like this stuff for the first few steps because it's thin enough to penetrate through all the fibers and it cures quickly with no tackiness. Next, you want to pull back the fibers and add some more thin dry epoxy to just about the bend of the hook. We want to make sure and add it all the way around the fly, but don't add too much or it might drip. Then use your bodkin if you need and smooth all the fibers and the epoxy before curing. It doesn't take very long at all to cure this, especially considering that we have so much epoxy to cure through. As you can see, it is rock hard in a matter of seconds. Now we are going to add another type of epoxy, also made by Solares, and it's called their Thick Hard Formula. I use this to build up the body of the fly quickly and easily. Make sure and apply it all the way around the fly 
Then use your bodkin again to smooth out and taper the body to your liking. Right before curing, rotate the fly a few times to even out the epoxy. Because we are using so much epoxy, it does take a bit longer to cure. However, in about 25 seconds this is rock hard with minimal tackiness. Now you could just stick this in the sun to completely get rid of all the tackiness. However, I like to add a new product by Solarez called Bone Dry. This can be painted on with their applicator and it cures ultra fast. It will make a smooth and rock hard finish to the fly without needing to stick it in the sun. So there it is, a small transparent fry-like fly that is very effective and durable. The transparency of the super flash dubbing allows the pearl braid to show through looking like the guts of the fish. And the red super tinsel twist looks like gills on a small transparent bait fish. Thanks for watching. If you like this sort of thing, please subscribe. Now go catch some fish.